hello how are you i hope you are fine first i welcome you all to my youtube channel as a spa mystery and today our topic is the impact of mounds on our brain on our thoughts on our psychology when we talk about thoughts we should observe the brain line first here we have brain line it must be very straight but if it is a bit curved and it is very long it must be very long sometimes it goes across the palm it is good it shows the potential of brain how much knowledge the brain can digest and it affects our thoughts our psychology how okay if our brain line is straight or a bit curved and a bit long and if a branch emanates from your brain line and reaches to your this mount it is jupiter if it is well developed it shows that one must be ambitious he must have dignity great dignity he must have a quench a great lust to overrule others to rule others one is very curious to gain all the powers authority simply it shows then one is very dominating he likes to dominate others he likes to have power authority in fact he is very ambitious and he wants to to rule on others great thing suppose if a line from your brain line a branch reaches to here it is your saturn mount it must be flat here flat is considered very auspicious your saturn indicates your destiny your prosperity your success your work your thoughts your justice your thoughts as well as your being serious a bit gloomy and if a line from your brain line emits from here and reach to saturn what does it indicates it indicates that you are sober serious you love justice and you must have a great inclination towards philosophy psychology and no doubt you must have a great lust for money and is sure that you will have you must have money or life property in your life if a branch of brain reaches to your saturn and there is no evil sign your saturn is flat now not dispersed not overdeveloped great sign next 
if a branch emits from your brain line and reached to your sun mount, Apollo mount. Apollo mount is well developed. What does it indicate? It indicates success, prosperity, your prestige, your popularity, your inclination towards arts, towards business. If a branch of your brain line reached to your Apollo, it is that sure that one day you will become very popular. But one must be careful about one thing. If there are many signs, negative signs on your palm, you may be notorious. If you have good signs, one day you will get famous, not notorious. Next. If a branch of your brain line reaches to your mercury. Mercury means knowledge, your wisdom. If you have a good mercury, a good length, mercury little finger, it shows that you must have a great wisdom. But your wisdom must be a bit, what do you call it, shrewd. One which, you know, just uh, tries to find out possibility of benefits. A branch raised to your mercury, it shows that you may get good success in business, in some scientific research, you may have a good name in the field of literature. You may be a good writer, a good poet, a good journalist. You must have some connection with journalism. All these fields needs a special ability of mind, brain, wisdom. Next. If a branch or the brain line itself reach to your defensive mass, it makes you mentally very strong. Whatever ability you have, you can determine easily. You are not going to change that easily as it makes you very strong, very stable. Mentally you are very stable. Next. Here is your lunar. And if your brain line takes a good curve and reaches to lunar or a branch emanates and reaches to your, to your lunar, it shows you must have a good imagination. When you imagine, you may have amazing, unique ideas about anything, great thing. You must have a good inclination for art, artistic things. You must have a great inclination toward religion, spirituality. It makes a person very gentle and sober and very full of character. Now, if a line befalls from your brain line and reach to your Venus, your all psychology, all your thought process will start thinking about only one thing. And that is how to enjoy, how to enjoy prosperity, luxury, pleasures, comforts, everything that belongs to 
enjoy. One has a great inclination to accumulate all the things which are necessary for luxurious life. And thus, our mounds affect our psychology, our thought process, our wisdom, and we become what our mounds want us to be very natural. So these are little or few facts about the impact of mounds on brain. I hope you must like all these things. If you like, just like the video, subscribe the channel. I would like to make a promise that I will see you very soon with a new topic, with a new video very soon. Until then, bye-bye, goodbye. See you soon. Thank you.